So you want to make a fire? I'll show you how. Hey, who doesn't love a warm fire on a cold night? But you know, if you're going to have a fire in a firebox, there are a few things you need to know to build it properly. So let's just go through a few of those. What I've got here, just some basic things lined up that I wanna show you. I built this fire setting first some tinder, which in this case I'm using newspaper, and then I use kindling on top of it, then I stack some of this well-dried oak on top of it here. And you can see I have about four or five logs. And notice how I've placed the logs down where a lot of this, um, a lot of the splintering is going to be facing the fire as it comes up. This will help ignite the fire. It's important that the damper is open. Don't try to build a fire unless you know the damper is open because what will happen is you will fill the entire house with smoke. You don't want that, okay? If you have glass doors on your firebox, make sure you open those for at least 30 minutes because what you want is you want the warm air of the room to kind of go up through the chimney and warm the inside of the, of the chimney and the shaft, you see? Uh, because what warm air is going to pull through and help draw. Drawing the air up through here is really important to keep the smoke out of the room. Okay, now I'm gonna light it. And you can use these long matches and you light the tinder down here first. The idea is that the tinder then lights the kindling, the kindling then lights the logs or the fuel. Now, you, you can have a, a gas starter, which I have here, which is cheating just a little bit. I'm gonna reach over here and turn this on just a bit so you can see what happens. What's good about gas, I think, is that you can preheat that whole shaft so you make sure you get plenty of draw. If you don't have that, you can buy some of these uh, logs that are, they're fake logs that are fire starters, and you can put one of those in your firebox and help warm it up first before you start laying in all the logs. Now, if you find that you're, you're not drawing enough air up through the chimney, just go across the room and if you can crack a window just a little bit, it'll help pull the air through and go right up the chimney. So as you can see, it's really moving along nicely. One last tip, don't use a lot of newspaper. Newspaper when it burns is really smoky. So um, if you just add a lot of paper like that, it's just gonna fill the room with smoke. Hey, if this tip is helpful to you, share it with a friend and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.